what is it about former Massachusetts Senator Scott Brown that he can't kind of take a week off from b getting some attention in New Hampshire as he explores the U.S. Senate campaign? I still have the, of the mind that Scott Brown is not going to run for the Senate here in 2014, even though he has a summer home in Rye, even though his sister lives here in New Hampshire. But uh, he was in the news again creating a political action committee in New Hampshire for the purposes of supporting candidates. The most interesting thing about this pack is what to watch for in the next couple of years with regards to um, senior Republicans. It's no secret, we've talked about it before in previous videos, that the New Hampshire Republican State Committee financially is having trouble raising money, not doing that well. But <clears throat> Scott Brown forming this pack is kind of a precursor, I think, to the 2016 cycle. And by that I mean you're going to have a lot of Republicans who are looking at running for president, who are going to be looking for candidates to financially support in 2014 uh, in order to build their own political networks. I fully sus expect um, that political action committees that ha have been formed or will be formed by folks like Chris Christie, the New Jersey governor, Rand Paul, the Kentucky senator, Mark Rubio, Florida senator, um, are all going to support Republican candidates for, um, for offices in 2014. That could be important for, say, Republican state senators who want to try and hang on to their narrow majority in, next year. Could be important for a Republican candidate for governor, whoever that person tends, ends up being. Um, so uh, that's what's interesting about Scott Brown's move, is it, it, cue, it cues into us that um, a, major, a major part of financial support for Republican candidates of the future isn't going to come from the traditional party apparatus, but rather from some of these uh, upwardly mobile, very ambitious Republicans who want to play favorites with New Hampshire candidates and with office holders here. Good news for them to be sure. And we'll see if it pays off at the ballot box in 2014.